Do you want your villagers to get eaten by zombies? No? Neither do I. These mindless simpletons may not look the part, but they're one of the most valuable resources in the vast world of Minecraft, so they need to be handled with care. They're quite fond of their natural habitat, so you can imagine their displeasure when you try to rip them away from their friends and family. They're really not known for their cooperation. It may seem cruel to drive these poor souls into indentured servitude, but I'm saving them for themselves so I feel like I should be compensated for that. Today we'll be going over some basic tricks on how to capture and transport your villagers in Minecraft. Let's say you want to hang around the village for a while. That's cool. They do have a lot of resources after all. You just need to take the necessary precautions first. Let's face it, the longer you hang around the village, the more likely it is for the villagers to die somehow. And dead men can't really work. You should trap them somewhere so they can't get lost or be murdered by mobs. Make sure you have some blocks on hand for this next part. Dirt or cobblestone would be just fine. Every village has a bell in the center of their meeting place. It's supposed to be used to warn the villagers of oncoming raids. Basically you're playing the boy who cried wolf. Right clicking the bell will send the villagers into a panic, causing them to flee inside their houses. Simply cover the doors with a couple of blocks once they're inside and there's nothing they can do to escape. But if you think houses are too lucrative, you can simply dig a three block deep ditch into the ground and push them inside. Just make sure you cover them up with dirt and mark the location with a torch or something. Who needs breathing anyways? What do villagers love most in the world other than emeralds? Boats. This is the slowest and cheapest way to move these guys around. A boat just needs five wood planks of almost any variant to craft, making it a perfect solution for early game transportation. When a villager comes into close contact with a boat placed nearby, they can't resist sitting in it, and won't leave until the boat has been broken. Just right click the boat yourself after he's been seated and you can row him around. Slowly. This is the best option if you're looking to transport your villagers a short distance. If two villagers manage to get inside the boat you placed, you won't be able to get inside. You'll need to break it and start again. For the love of God, don't use a sword to break the boat, as there's a chance sweeping edge will hit the villagers, causing them to run away in fear. Using an axe, however, will break the boat instantly. Don't run the boat over any of the pathways located throughout the village. You'll just get stuck and end up starting over. If you're having a hard time with this process, simply place the boat between a villager and an unclaimed workstation, such as a composter. If you come across a river or ocean, you can even move the villagers by water, which is how a boat is supposed to be used after all. Traveling by sea is much faster than rowing on land. You'll also need a piston and lever to move up blocks. Place the piston underneath the boat facing up and click the lever to launch the boat upwards. This is probably the greatest flaw to the boat route. Traveling longer distances to your base would simply be too long and tedious if you just used a boat. A much faster way to transport your villagers is through the use of a railway system. Rails can basically be placed anywhere and serves as an efficient yet expensive way to transport the villagers great distances. It takes 6 iron ingots and a stick to make just 16 rails, and 5 ingots to make the minecart itself. Just a quick side note, I wouldn't recommend attacking a villager in front of an iron golem. They tend to get a little pissy. Getting the villagers into the minecart is basically the same concept as getting them inside a boat. Just make sure you place it on a rail. Once the villager is inside, you can simply push him to your destination on the tracks. If you're feeling lazy, you can use powered rails and redstone instead of pushing the carts yourself. Although it eats up quite a bit of gold. Technically, you don't have to extend the railway system all the way to your destination. You can simply keep breaking and reusing them until you get there. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's good for the environment.
After following these steps, your new pals should now enjoy their new life in indentured servitude. I hope you found this video helpful, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.